Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Sci-Fi Blitz, here we are. Good to have you. Welcome, just let everybody catch up. I'm 30 seconds ahead of you. Now, good news today. If you've uh, watched Sci-Fi Blitz in the past, we've had uh, issues with the streaming quality. It's been patchy, stop-starty, all kinds of problems. Anyways, I've sorted it all out. So today should be the last episode of Sci-Fi Blitz, should be the first episode that has a really smooth, clear live stream. So, hey, that's great. Making progress. Hope everybody's doing really well today. I'm doing pretty good. It's uh, kind of a cloudy day today. It's Sydney, Sydney, Australia. It's looking good, though. All uh, feeling for everybody uh, all around the world. Anybody that's a lot of different uh, countries and stuff are going back into lockdown. So if you are in lockdown, hang in there. This too shall pass. It's not forever. But uh, yeah, thinking about everybody that's in lockdown today. Hello, welcome. Good to see you, Cartoon. Thanks for coming. Well, pile in. I let everybody pile in. We'll just uh, let the stream run for a few seconds here. Um, so today, so the winning vote was the tractor beam, uh, tractor beam uh, room from the Death Star. So if you're not familiar with the scene, this is a, an image from the scene here. I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Here's the other famous shot. I grabbed these two from the web just to have something. So we've got uh, something to uh, to compare with. Oh, cloudy, wet, and rainy 4K. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of weather all in one hit. That's hope you're staying dry. Yes, this is the last episode, Sai Samran. So what the plan is was we were going to do one season of the show. So we just kind of said we'll go till November. And uh, here we are, last episode. So um, we'll decide after this episode... And then after the cutdown version releases next week, um, we're just gonna have a break over the Christmas holiday. We'll reassess and look next year at starting the show up again, possibly. We may make some changes. We're not exactly sure. We're gonna get together as a team and talk about what we wanna do and look at how um, how it's tracked. This is a kind of a brand new thing. Sci-Fi Blitz is just, it's sort of a different format from anything that anyone's really doing about Blender um, online. So we've just, it's been a big experiment. So we're gonna sit back and have a look at it and make some decisions about you know what we could do to try and make it uh, look better or you know whatever we're not really sure so a lot to learn but anyways we do appreciate everybody that's watched everyone that's liked the show everybody that's been a part of it the community that's formed around it you've been amazing and uh really really appreciate everybody um who's taken part and uh actually uh, let's see so today what we're going to do um is uh we're going to be doing this this shot um i haven't quite decided if we're going to do this angle or a close we'll probably do this angle. I like the classic angle I don't know. We'll decide. We'll build it, and then we'll find a good good place to put our camera. We'll make it work. Um, oh, mostly, Colin, you're in lockdown. Yep, a lot of people in lockdown. A lot of countries that have gone back in. So you're not alone. Just keep reminding yourself if you're in lockdown. You're not the only one. There's lots of other people around the world going through it. Um, just get my phone to be muted. Well, I'm excited about today. It's going to be fun. I think last week. Uh, things went really well. I was really pumped with the result. I uh, hope you guys liked it. It seemed like um, feedback was really good. But um, yeah, I think last week turned out amazing. So it's going to be really hard to top last week. So but we got some challenges today. So this is going to be really fun. Um, and uh, it's going to be good. Oh, good. Gavin, welcome. Glad you found the channel. Yes, yeah, CG Cookie. been around for ages. I'm brand new to CG Cookie. Um, I've only just joined the team this year for Sci-Fi Blitz. But um, I actually learned uh, from CG Cookie originally when I was starting out with Blender, like five, six, seven years ago, I think was when I first start, found them. But anyways, really great website. Check out the website, everybody, CG Cookie. Uh, you can become a free member and get access to some pretty amazing stuff there. So, uh, all right. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've kind of uh, wasted enough time chatting. Let me reset my timer. Uh, we're going to go one hour. Set that back. And uh, reset that. Pause, reset. There we go. And yep, you can see I'm just checking all my stream stuff. We're looking good everywhere. Um, hi, pal. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. You know, what we could do is we could just get rid of that and say, boom, we're done. Thanks so much for watching today. Uh, we've made the, the Death Star tractor beam room. It looks looks just like it did from the movie. Done. That's That was easy, wasn't it? Didn't even have to do the timer. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. It's going to be sad next week not doing this. 
Hi, welcome, Octave from Turkey. It's awesome. Nice to have you. I'd love to go to Turkey one day. I haven't visited yet. It's on my list. On my list. I'm going to go ride a hot air balloon. Looks so cool. All right. Deep breath. Collect, home collect, start my record as well. Don't forget that. Okay. Let's get ready to go. Everything's set. Let me know if the stream, stream looking all right on your end, everybody. Just let me know in chat. Stream looks good. Settings should be working well. Got all my things ready to go. All right, here we go. This is the season finale of Sci-Fi Blitz. Thank you for joining. Here we go. Getting started in three, two, one. Lift off. Here we go. All right, so. Well, let's get cracking. I'm going to start off with uh, my fresh scene, just to delete everything out. And I'm going to create, we're going to start with this thing. Uh, it makes sense, I think, to make the, the main central point first. Um, and uh, just multi-sided sort of hexagonal object. So we're going to have a going to have a fun time. Uh, let's start off with a mesh. And we're going to grab a, what do I want? I'm going to go for cylinder. Uh, before I click off, I'm going to make sure I change my settings, though. So I'm going to change my see, the vertices. Just bring this down. Um, how many sides do we have? We've got like one, two, three, four, five, probably six. It's probably a 12-sided. So uh, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this will probably be good. We'll go with a 12-sided object. I think that makes sense. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to delete the top and the bottom face for now. And I'm just going to work with this. I'm going to grab this uh, edge. I'm going to hold down Alt and click that. Just make sure I've got, yeah, I've got my key presses turned on so you can see those. We're just going to scale that in just a little bit. Double tap G, drag it down. Um, and uh, let's think about this thing. So we've got a, there's a break in the middle. Actually, it's probably not, it's not quite that small, is it? It's not that much of a, of a change in size. So let's pull this. So, uh, oh, pal, just starting your adventure in Blender. That's exciting. A lot of fun stuff. Yeah, great, great program to use for making game assets. If you're into making games, Blender is awesome for that. Blender is awesome for everything. I use it for all of my professional work. So I make commercials for a living. Um, my little studio here in Sydney. And uh, I use Blender. So it's totally legit. All right, just bringing that in. Um, and we've got a couple of these little like pocket door things. So um, I'm just going to make a couple of those. Uh, looks like I've got them on most of the sides. It alternates sort of like one, two, and then it does a double a double thing. So I'll just I'll just hide I to inset. I'll just bring this in. I'm gonna scale. I want to make sure I scale on the normal, right? Um, I might just do it with my widget handles just to make sure it stays on the plane because I don't want it going off of the, the shape of this plane find a good kind of it sort of sits higher on the top doesn't it it's like kind of up like this the bottom's got a bit more of a gap to it so i think that's pretty good um, i could try rounding the edges but I, I don't know i don't want to get too crazy and mess it up all right let's see i'm gonna take hey elmo welcome good to have you thanks for joining today um i'm gonna what do i want to do i'll uh i'll do the same thing for this one i'll hit hide inset bring it down um, and then I'll grab the scale tool and I'll scale it locally like so. And up like this, bring it like this, duh, 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 come in like that. Do I have proportional editing turned on? No, I don't. Okay, good. Um, I probably could have just like done this once and then like mirrored it across, but um, I'm just gonna do one of these. We're only gonna do one side. Right, because um, there's no need to do stuff the camera's not going to see. Uh, just switch to this. I'll just scale this up. I'll wrap this one down a little bit. Just kind of get this lined up. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, uh, let's do this here as well. Uh, but this time I want to have two of them. Uh, so what's the best way for me to do that? Could I inset uh, once and then twice, and then I'll grab uh these two actually i'll do a loop cut um actually i'm trying to figure out how do i do this without doing too much extra geometry i could just knife cut this that might be the smartest thing to do um, actually go into vertex mode i'm gonna get bogged down don't get bogged down chris come on man don't get bogged down this is kind of what i want but it's, it's even messier 
All right, I will. I will do a loop cut. I don't want to do a loop cut. I'm just going to do a knife to cut. Knife cut. Where's my knife tool? All right, I'll just go straight across. Let's see. Like this, grab this vertex and just come along like that and do the same thing here. Sorry right if it's not straight. Come up, go to knife tool. Boom, 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 boom. And then what I could do is I can grab the individual vertex and turn on snapping. Switch to vertex mode, grab on the Z and, uh, no, not the Z. Um, can I just, I could probably just grab the handles and there we go. Snap that in place so it's the same, it's in the same uh, sort of parallel line with that. Then what I can do is I can go here and uh, grab this one and this one, hit E to extrude, and then just grab that on the Z, bring that in like that. And uh, yeah, and then we want to, let's see, I'm gonna expand the selection. I'm gonna go switch to scale and I'll scale them in like this, uh, just like so to kind of get that in the right spot, I think. Um, they look a little bit wider maybe. So what we could do is we could grab uh, this face and this face and we could scale those on the Y and just kind of, that'll just bring them in like this. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, now they are shorter as well, so I should, I should bring these up. So grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this, grab that. Go like this. Just kind of find a nice spot. Maybe bring them up a touch to touch like that sweet all right we got that thing modeled um see so everybody's going oh man good to see everybody welcome nice to see you. i'm sorry I missed a few uh just in time for november yeah it's nuts pal it's a lot of fun uh the community is really awesome i totally agree the blender community is the best community um and we need to bring these guys in as well hey bastion good to see you thanks so much for the for the good luck wishes appreciate it Let's, how do I want to do this? I will hit E to extrude, I'll grab that in. I'm gonna turn snapping off just so I don't extrude, grab that in, just kind of doing this by eye, E to extrude, grab that in. All right, it's pretty good. Now we could try and, uh, do I want to do this? Um, hmm. Could I, uh, no, that's not gonna do it. Uh, which one does it, does this? Yeah, this will do it. Could bevel that. And that'll give me the rounded edges. I just, I just don't think necessary. It's going to be a bit, it's overkill. Overkill. All right, let's keep going. Um, we got this thing goes in and then up here, we need to do, looks like another one. So I'm going to do another loop cut, uh, just up like this. I'll get control B to pull it and just split it up a little bit like so. And then I'll hit E to extrude and scale it in. And then this top bit, what it does is it looks like it goes in. So I'll hit E to extrude, I'll scale in, and I'll grab Z, bring it up. So it's got that little like elevated thing. Now let's switch views. Um, this view here, uh, right? So from the top, it looks like, let's see, we'll scale it down a bit more. Um, and let's hit E to extrude and grab Z, come down, E to extrude, grab in, E to extrude, uh, grab, grab Z, bring it up. Uh, like this, and then E to extrude, scale it in, and then E to extrude, we're gonna bring it down, da da da, and then we're gonna scale in a little bit, I think, E to extrude again, scale in like so, we're gonna hit E to extrude, grip down, I'm kinda just kinda guessing on how this thing's flowing, but um, should be pretty much like this, it looks like, and then we've got that thing, and then we go up, grab Z, uh, scale it in a little bit, probably E, uh, scale it in a bit more, E again, grab Z, bring it up, scale it right down to this point, sort of like a little cone thing. Um, and I might even just bring them all the way down like that, scale zero, and then select all F3, type in merge by distance, gonna merge 11 vertices right there. And now we've got that thing. Uh, now, Let's keep going, we got the bottom edge down here. So let's switch back to our other reference image. And uh, this one kind of just goes in and becomes that platform. So let's uh, let's hit E to extrude, we'll bring it in and then E again, and we'll 
grab it down and then E again, we'll scale it up, boom. Most of modeling is just hitting extrude uh, E and grab, bring it down, let's see. Hey, Gaston from Argentina, welcome, good to have you. Thanks for coming today. Hey, Prima, waving back at you. Thanks for joining today, everybody. Again, this is the season finale of Sci-Fi Blitz. So uh, get in now. Now this is rounded. Is it? It's a little rounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like not circular. It looks like it's, hmm. Is it circular? Yeah, yeah, this is actually like a perfect circle that then extends out. So this is actually a different thing. We shouldn't do it this way. We should do it as a different thing. Yep. Let's expand that selection and delete the faces. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, I'll come up here. I'll go to my top view. I want something that's gonna like look like this, right? Easy enough. Um, what we wanna use to make something that looks like this. Uh, I guess we could use the same thing. We could use a, a circle. Eh, I don't wanna use a circle. I will use a cylinder again. But this time I'm gonna increase the number of faces to like 38, I think. And I'm gonna go into edit mode and then let's see, vertexes. And I'll double tap A. I'm gonna switch back to global. Okay. Um uh good question. Uh give him give him a guy 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 Um I would say Blender would be the way to go. Because um Maya's like really, really old and buggy, and it's no fun to use and it's a terrible piece of software. So that's the main reason why you shouldn't use it. Um, but Blender is open source, amazing, and has an incredible community of people um, that support it. And you can do everything in Blender that you could do in Maya, so don't waste your time. Just stick with Blender. Besides, the concepts are all the same. Like, if you learn how to do something in Blender, you can just, you know, just search, well, how do I do this in Maya? And you, once you figure that out, it's, it's not that big of a leap. Uh, but I started with Maya and uh, then I moved to Cinema 4D did that for use when that first came out and um, then I switched to Blender and I've never looked back all right I'm going to scale it up I'm going to shift Z there to, to, to prevent myself from scaling on the Z um, just kind of scale X out a little bit. Just kind of iron this thing out and just, just have a look at creating a basic shape for us. This will be our little platform thing. Now, I don't know what it looks like on the other side of that, but it might be hollow, but it doesn't matter. I don't know if we'll even see it in the thing. All right, uh, now it is smooth. So let's 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 create uh, some, some double edges here. So I'm gonna, Click R and I'll do roll my mouse wheel to get a double cut there. And then I'll scale on the Z to just drag these guys up a little bit. So they're very close there to the edge. I'll do the same along here as well. I'll just bring up and just kind of bring it real close to the edge. And this will help Blender know how to shade it. So now if I shade smooth, I get this nice hard edge um, and it looks good. All right. Now let's see, how else are we going? Um, get out of X-ray mode and I'll just bring this down on the Z a little bit because it should be just down a bit. Switch back to our other image. How are we going to time? 47 minutes, all right, we gotta, gotta keep going. We gotta fly, we gotta fly. I might just intersect the geometry here. So let's uh, let's just grab this guy and uh, we'll hit E to extrude, grab it down on the Z. And uh, E to extrude, we're just gonna scale it up a bit and then grab down. Doo -doo -doo. And yep, ba -da 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 -da, e, and grab it down. And I think this is what we're just gonna send this thing straight down like this. So what's the, what does it look like from a distance here? It's quite rounded in this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could just, we could just do that and shade smooth this section. Like that's not the end of the world. But then it's all one model and it works. I think that works for us. Um, and then like create a double double loop cut right here. Just so, again, just so Blender can know how to handle it. Just like these faces should be smooth. And do another loop cut right here. Another loop cut. Again, we're probably never gonna see this, so I might be, just be wasting time right now. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. This thing uh, right here, it's 
duplicated and spin around the other side. Plus, we got to get these like these things in it, whatever they are. Let's have a look. The view gives us a good look. Got to keep moving. All right, so we get these like circles and these little like glowing things. Um, so and it's like looks like some kind of propeller thing that's in this. Actually, I've never noticed that before. Uh, and if I've never noticed it, do we need to bother bother modeling it? Because you know, if I haven't noticed it, who else has noticed it? Um, but we could because it wouldn't be too hard. Just do this, and then we could like hit E to extrude and scale out like that. Um, I'm gonna give us something, and I could do switch to individual uh, origins, and is that gonna do it? No, uh, scale X. Hmm. Look, just I'll just leave it like that. I think that's that's pretty cool. That'll that'll give us something similar. All right, uh, let's get these things going. I'm gonna. How do I do this? I'm gonna go um, cylinder. Slow it down. Actually, 38. I'm gonna go. 25 and I'll scale this right down, grab it on the Z, scale it right down, grab it on the X, boom, boom, boom. scale, grab it down, um, and up like this. I'll just go into edit mode for this this guy. I'm gonna delete the face. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Delete the face. Now, if you're not familiar with Sci-Fi Blitz, the whole idea is I only have an hour to do this. That's why I'm, I'm flying right now, or trying to fly. So under normal circumstances, naturally, merge those, um, shade that smooth, and I'm gonna come in here and loop cut there, loop cut there. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna stick uh, these things inside. So this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna use a UV sphere for this. Grab up, up here, grab up. Let's look at it, go into edit mode. I'm gonna grab the top half. So if I just look at it from the side, double tap A, switch to vertex mode, make sure I'm in X-ray. Go here and I'll grab this up like so. And then we'll just come out like that, scale it down, get out of X-ray mode, bring this down. Grab on the X, scale it down, uh, grab on the Z, focus in on this point. Grab it on the X, scale it down. Said, how far up do I want it to come? Probably about like that. That should be pretty good. Now, um, let's see. All right, I think what we'll do here is we'll shade this one smooth, and then we're just gonna go for a, hmm, I'm not gonna bother with a circular array or anything fancy like that. I'm actually just going to do it like this. Uh, now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these things. So, oops, maybe what I should do is let's go into edit mode shift a shift d grab this like this uh, actually i'll scale it down a little bit more select this guy get rid of him vertices select this guy hit l shift d and what i'm doing is i'm just i'm adding into this in edit mode right so that i can um create a mirror modifier to uh, expand it. Although, you know what? This is just as easy. Yeah, that'll work. This will work. All right, so we need like a bright uh, emission guy, a shader on these guys. I'll go ahead and stick that on because it's pretty simple. I'm going to switch this to the emission shader and I'm going to turn it up to like five maybe. Um, and I will parent them to this thing. And then this guy right here, what I need to do is I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these, I guess. Um, this doesn't look quite right, does it? Say hmm, object origin to geometry. Can I select all these guys, make sure I'm set to individual origins and then scale them up like this? Yeah, I think that looks a bit more like what I would expect. And then I can switch to medium point, scale them up like that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I'm actually just gonna join them to this. Uh, Control J, um, and then I'll make sure that this is assigned to that, and then I'll go select inverse. 
So I'm inverting my selection and now I'm just going to create a new material and assign that material to this one, right? So that I've got two different materials here. That way, if I go into shade mode, only these guys are going to glow. Sorry again if I'm moving super fast for everybody that's uh, new to Blender and watching. Uh, we got lots of uh, non-fast tutorials that uh, you can watch. Um, let's, ugh. what do I do? Uh, let's, uh, I guess we could do a circular array, but they really slow things down and I'm just wanting to just go fast. So I'm gonna just do this by eye today. that down there. Um, I could rotate from the cursor. That's not a bad idea. I'd go with that. I could say make the 3D cursor my uh, my point and I can hit rotate and it'll just do it like that. That's much quicker. Love that 3D cursor. It's my American accent there. Cursor. I switch back and forth all the time. Those of you who are new, I'm, I, I live in Australia, but I, I was born in America. So I have this bizarre hybrid accent that can be annoying depending on your sensitivities to immigrants, I guess, because I'm an immigrant. All right, uh, that looks great, that looks great. All right, so now what we should do is we should take this guy and I'm gonna hit Shifty to duplicate, and then I'm gonna, uh, what do I wanna do? Scale Z negative one, did that do it? No, did I, did I actually Shifty it? Is there two of them? Yep, Scale Z negative one. Not working. Scale Z negative one. Don't know. Shift D, rotate on the Y ninety degrees. Oh, it's because of the that. Scale negative one. No, what's going on? Something's going on. Shift D, rotate Y ninety. Oh, if I hit, I did. There's a there's a button on my keypad. If I hit it. It deactivates. Um, so, all right, scale negative one. That's what I was trying to do. Let's bring it up like this. Okay, and then this whole system here. Um, what we can do is let's select all of these guys like so, and then Control J to join. Shift D, grab it on the Z scale. Z negative one. So it flips it like that. That's what I was trying to do that down like that. Now we got the two things. Now we're gonna have to do the, the, the like beams, right? So good morning, Steve and Scott. Good day. Uh, let's see what we can do for this is uh, I could just create, um, let's see, mesh, how are we doing for time? 37 minutes, flying through it. All right, grab Z, scale, uh, scale Z, bring it up like that, shade smooth. Um, and let's see, I will grab it on the X and just line this up like so. Um, just do this a little bit more, I think. Maybe just like that. Uh, scale Shift Z just to kind of bring it down a little bit so it's more of a narrow uh, thing that looks about right. And then let's, uh, let's go again with the 3D cursor as our Point, Shift D, rotate Z, just bring that around. Shift D, rotate Z, bring that around. D, rotate Z. I could have looked at the actual numeric value that we rotated the first one on, and then I could just use that again. But when you're moving this fast, you just don't think of things. You just don't think of stuff. Your brain just goes to crazy, man. All right. Sweet. Now all these dudes, uh, just do that and uh, control J to join. I'm just joining things so it's easier for me to just to quickly grab them. I'll grab a new material for this. And this one we're going to set up for our sort of glow shader. I'll, I'll just give it a slight blue color for now and turn its alpha down. Um, and I'll go ahead and go into the shader editor here and go into options and go down to alpha blend and none for my shadow just for now. Let's go ahead and get that in the right place. All right, let's 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 bring our reference image back up. Uh, okay, now we need to do the do wikis that are in here. We don't have any do wikis yet. That's important. It's always important when doing sci-fi, you must have do wikis. 
But uh, we need to get these things going. And these walls are actually pretty detailed. Plus we got this thing here. There's like this and it's repeated a couple of times. So maybe we could make that and then position it a couple of times over. We could cheat and just use this, um, but I don't think we need to cheat. We can we can make this, make this thing. Let's just have a look at it. What's it actually got going on for it? So cylinder again, and then we just need to bring those things up and then several components. All right, let's let's get a let's get a, a sphere going. Why? Um, and I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did before. I'll delete the top face, um, delete faces, delete the bottom face. I'm gonna also make sure I get off of that. We'll switch to reactive. Yeah, That's fine. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab uh, edge mode. I'm gonna grab my my loop cut here. I'm going to um, e bring it in. Um, and then I'm going to actually, I'm going to scale it, but not on the Z. So wait, is it doing that? Um, medium point. That's what I wanted. Sorry. Scale, bring that in just a touch. E, grab it up on the Z just a touch. E, scale that back out here. And then E, group this up and scale that in like so. Bring it down, scale it out. I think that's about right. Then we've got, um, these, uh, Let's see, I'll do a, a loop cut again, just here on the edge, just to firm it up so I can shade smooth in the whole thing. And then I'm gonna grab, uh, let's see, we're gonna grab one of these guys. I'll first, first I'll make a loop cut here, just for the top edge of these things here. Uh, like so, and then, then there's like this sort of other bit that sticks out this edge here. So I'll do a loop cut for that. And then we'll have a base that's somewhere like right here. And then what I can do is I can grab this edge right uh, here. Let's say, how many of these do I want? I'll grab two of them and I will uh, switch to normal and go to that. And I'll just drag this out like so. Um, do I want to do it that way? I don't want to do it that way. I actually just want to go into face mode and I'm going to grab, I'll grab, I'm going to grab, I'll grab all four, I'll hit E to extrude, and I'll pull this out like this. And then we can just grab this top, these top two edges, and we can just pull them in a little bit like so. We can pull these two edges out, out like that. And then these guys, what we'll do is bring them in like that. That's kind of that's kind of right. Um, now this section is not shaded smooth, so I'll grab these guys, and shade them flat, maybe expand it out one and shade flat as well. And then what we could do is, uh, just loop cut just like, so that'll help, that won't help Blender at all. Um, oh, and these, these guys are curved a bit actually. So they should actually, all of it should still be shaded smooth. So I'll do that. Where's shades? Where did that go? Smooth shade. And then we can, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's see. I'll just take these two guys, bevel them like so. And uh, we're going to take, um, let's see. I want to bring that in. So I'm going to take these two right here. I'm going to hit I to inset, bring them in just a touch. Um, I'll hit I to inset again. And then E to extrude, bring it down like so. And I'm just doing these double extrudes just to create those extra lines and that helps to firm up our edges a little bit. Um, cool. Um, now this is not looking very good. So let's, let's do a, a loop cut. Why not? Right here. Another loop cut. Another loop cut. And another loop cut. All right, it's not great, but it works. All right, and let's see, we need to get these guys going. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna do like kind of a simplified version of what we see here, um, just for time. So I'm gonna hit E to extrude. Uh, I'll grab it up a little bit on the Z. E again, grab it up on the Z a fair amount. And then E again, up. And then I'm gonna take these edges right here on this side and I will grab them uh, down like that. There we go. And it's not the, not at all the same, but 
it's just given us something to work with. Uh, that's going to be, it's going to be kind of cool. Uh, can I take this and can I go, can I do this and then just hit zero and then shade flat? Is that going to work? Yeah, that works. Yeah, cool. Is I could do it here too. So scale and then hit zero, enter, right click, shape flat. Again, these are just kind of like ancillary details, so it's probably overkill to worry about them too much. Um, I don't want to get bogged down. All right, so let's um, let's scale it. So I'll grab this. I'll hit zero, enter. Uh, it's gonna be fine. And let's also maybe scale these guys in on the X a bit, and then what I want to do. Can I, um, can I just stop there on this? I'm gonna look at this from the top view and I'll switch to vertex mode. And then what I'll do is I will create uh, an edge cut right there. And then I'll maybe go boom. Actually, I'll go, I'll go the other way. I'll select all these. I'll delete these vertices, just transfer mode. Let's delete all these vertices and I'll delete Uh, let's see, we need to create another edge loop here. This is going to get a little weird, actually. Um, that's all right. Grab these guys. We're going to have to move this whole system. Uh, there. Delete those vertices. And now I can, um, I'll just position him sort of back at the zero, zero point. And then we're going to switch here. We're going to put a mirror modifier on. Where are you, mirror modifier? Boom. X. Why got this on the on the Y? How are we looking? It's looking all right. Yeah, it's all right. Cool. And I don't know what's going on in the top of this thing. Um, it's not even in this picture. Um, so oh, it looks like they're just they're just like a giant gaping hole. So I'm just gonna apply this. So come out of edit mode. Click here and go apply, go back into edit mode, grab this loop here at the top. So there it is, there it is. Hit E to extrude, grab it in just a little bit like that. E to extrude, grab it in again, in and then grab it down. Like so. Now I just fill, no, I don't want to fill that. Oh, E to extrude again. Uh, there we go. Three merge. All right, we got some stuff. It's a bit uh, a bit dodgy, but that's all right. All right, let's keep going, and let's do some. Uh, let's see. Um, you got a bad feeling about this one, 4K. Uh-oh, terrifying. If 4K is feeling bad, then we're in trouble. It's 27 minutes. We got a long way to go still. I don't know, maybe you're right. Dicey. All right, let's go to our camera. Let's go get that set up. Uh, let's go to the, we're gonna go cinematic. So we're gonna do 2560. I'm gonna lock my camera to view. There we go. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock my camera to view. Zoom in, there we go. Lock it again. Come over to here. We're going to go down to our camera and we're going to go viewport display, passport two. We're going to turn it all the way up. And then uh, let's see, let's pick a, a good lens for us. Maybe a 30 could work. And uh, let's see, we got that, that views down there. This guy's probably what we should do is take the bottom bit and just uh, grab it on the, what's going on? Normal, global, Z. there we go. Just drag it down like that. So it's just this super long thing. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start positioning stuff around in the scene. So uh, if we go for the top view, um, let's have a look at, there's just a couple of them sort of scattered throughout 
the scene. So I'll grab this in X, grab this in Z, just bring it down, maybe scale it down a little bit. And yeah, I'll shift D, grab Y, bring it over here. Shift D, grab X, bring it over here, and grab Y. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I need I need some like you know heroic music in the background. Okay, now um, we do have this bridge thing that we haven't done, but you know we're living on the edge. Let's get this uh, these walls going. So let's go ahead and create a shift. Let's go mesh plane, scale it up, rotate on the Y by ninety, grab it on the X, boom, scale it, and then let's see. I want to. Hmm, I'm gonna do this. I could uh, go into edit mode. Let's go to the edge here. I could hit E and let's see, grab on the Y, but then also kind of grab on the X, sort of uh, grab Y, grab X, sort of circle it around. Uh, grab Y and X. I'm gonna make sure my view is extended far enough. We're looking through the camera as well. So I need to take my camera view and uh, come here, boom. And end, I'm just going to expand my end out so I don't end up losing that. I also need to make sure I untake the camera to view. I don't want to mess that up. Classic sci fi edits uh, error that I do almost every episode. I'll grab this edge and just grab it down. And let's take this edge, let's hit E, and grab it on the Y. Pressure's on, everybody. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the shift D this thing, grab it on the X, bring it around like this. And then I'm going to rotate it on the Z just a touch, like so. And that just kind of brings it in. Um, this will be the thing we put this sort of glowy thing on. Let's uh, let's get our view set up a little bit better. Something like this, maybe. Yeah, like so. Maybe come around a touch. And that's pretty good. All right, let's put that there all right so we got a couple of things now we need to do we need to get um we need to get some materials going we need to get our lights going and we need to kind of get some kind of like metal stuff going on this we should also put in a bridge real quick we're going to just dirty the bridge just for speed's sake and there we go bridge done just bring it down below this thing and just leave it like that for right now we might have to pick a view where we can't see it so that we don't have to worry about it Can also just pop in a oh, I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, let's get some materials going. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to shaded view. Now we don't have any lights in our scene yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my world and bring my world shader down to nothing. And then I'm gonna turn on bloom and screen space reflections. And let's get cracking. Um, let's see, let's take the cone object first and let's come over to our shader editor. And we're going to come here. I'm going to take my emission. I'm going to select this so that we've got these guys going. Um, and I will take my vibrancy up to five, I think. Uh, but I'll bring the alpha right down so that they're not really all that visible. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to actually add a, a light into the scene because we are going to need some light. Uh, so I'll bring this around. Um, what would be good for light? Let's have a look at sort of where's the light coming from in this in this shot looks like it's kind of coming from this way um, kind of like this maybe yeah something like that kind of possibly let's take this light and let's drag the angle way up as well make everything really soft i think that might be kind of make it feel like the scene as well. I'm going to turn off all my detail stuff. All right, let's create a sort of metallic shader for this guy. Um, let's come over to here and I might just select, what is it? Material two, I think. Um, and I'll apply material two to all of these and we'll use just that for, for everything. Um, there we go. Material two, right up here, material two. Material two, copy to selected. Um, and these guys, I'm gonna put a new material on. So this is gonna be material four. And uh, so for material two, let's come over to our shader editor. Uh, oh man, 20 minutes, this is this is looking bad. This is looking bad. Can we pull this, can we pull this together? What do you guys think? Oh man, I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling nervous. All right, bring my specular down, bring my roughness down. 
a little bit. So they start reflecting um, a little bit. Uh, and then let's, uh, let's keep looking for my, my the right angle, you know? All right, let's get this, let's get this wall thing going. Cause this is the quintessential thing that we need. Uh, I'll bring this up. I'll go to my image editor and we need this stuff. So let's find a good view of that. All right. We'll start off with uh, a grid, I think. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in brick, sorry, brick texture. All right. <laughs> Thanks for dragging. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go color ramp. This is always unrehearsed, folks, so we don't even know if I'm going to make it. You know, we might hit the end point. It's just going to look horrible, so got to be prepared. Uh, yeah, I'll just throw it into the emission so we can see it. I'm going to use my texture coordinate. Make myself, give myself a little bit more room as well. All right, and get rid of that thing so we can see a little bit. All right, let's go uh, uh, mapping node. Boom, uh, let's go uh, generated and I'm gonna go into the vector. Actually, I'm gonna go object. I don't wanna go generated. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna use not the color, I'm gonna use the factor. In you go, I'm gonna go constant. Let's uh, let's see, what's this gonna look like? Um, I need to bring this out so we can actually see. All right, I need to invert this uh, to get that, that correct. Is that right? No, I need to go like this. Yeah, um, and let's see, scale, just bring it like this. Squash, I'll make my frequency of the squash be th three. And I'll turn this up. I'll bring my row height, and my width down a bit. Uh, there we go, I'll take my mortar size up to like this, I think. So we're starting to get this sort of, um, repeating the the same kind of looking pattern. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Um, I'll leave those um, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. I think what we'll do now is we'll take, um, we're gonna need to take a couple other different things and combine them. So let's grab a Veroni. I'm gonna switch to Manhattan. I'm gonna grab these dudes and shift D, bring them up and I'm bring this in like that i'll bring this i'll just duplicate this bring it up put it here 18 minutes okay here we go all right so this one i'm going to rotate on the z by 45 degrees bring it there to more of like a, a brick pattern um scale uh looks pretty good actually that one um i'm going to take my randomness down and i'm going to take uh my um uh, actually hmm. Let me, let me think about this. If I, if I do it like this, then I am gonna get weird stuff the further out we go, which says to me what I really need to do is to treat this thing like panels. So, mm, or just make it so that We could start with this. All right, let's start with this. So we're gonna mix our, well, that right there, I'm gonna go multiply. I'm gonna take this, pop it into here. Factor, turn away up to one. Now we're cutting it out. So we've just got certain sections. Feel like this one's still a little bit thick. So I need to bring my mortar size up. Is that right? No, that's not really right, is it? Offset. All right, uh, grab this, grab it down, put it down. See now it's like kind of breaking up and setting it into different sections here. I can um, also, what I can do is I can take all this, move it out here. I can grab a color ramp. Oh man, 16 minutes, the pressure is on with this one. Jeez, I didn't think this was gonna be this crazy, but it is, I never think that though. All right, that's pretty good color. Um, might take my vibrancy up to two, so we get a little bit of glow out of it, which is nice. And then we can also do this nice thing with the mortar. I can change my mortar, um, what do I wanna do? Mortar, actually it looks kinda nice. 
Does it look nice? Mm. It's a bit better with these. Uh, the mortar smooth, we can pull out. Although that's not really going to do it for us, is it? If, if we're using our, if you're using the vibrancy, it's not going to do anything. It's definitely like they're narrow enough, you know? So can I stretch them out? Can I do this? And then that. Um, there we go. It's starting to feel a little bit better. And then we're going to need to have, um, so fiddly, so fiddly. All right. Um, now let's take, uh, another kind of system and break it up further. So let's take this. We go boom, shift D. Oh, thanks, Kennedy. <laughs> Somebody thinks this is amazing. Oh man. All right. I need some encouragement in chat. I feel like I'm drowning. So let me know. If you think I'm drowning, don't put anything in chat. If you think I'm doing a great job, and it doesn't matter if I actually complete this. What matters is is the journey, not the destination. Then let me know in chat. Uh if you think it's all about the destination, then don't tell me anything because like, I can't I can't handle it. Um, let's see. What do we need to do? Uh, I need to leave this. I need to shift. I need to bring this back up. We're going to use the same same thing. But what I need to do is instead of trying to rotate it, I just need to change the scale. All right. Uh, so there we go. There we go. Let's bring this one right down. We're going to do it like this. Is that going to do anything for me? Yeah, that's going to do some stuff for me. There we go. And then I can take this, I think, to change the... That's pretty cool. All right, now let's take, let's see which scale is going to be the one that we want. Do it like that. Do it like this. I might invert it because I just want to cut out little bits. Come on. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Zero is gonna do what I want it to do. There we go, let's pull this like this. I'm just gonna do another one of these. Um, whew. All right, come on. Pull this into this, we can do this. Hard to see it. We're ending, we're ending on a high note. Come on, I need everything to be plugging in properly. All right, so I'm just like creating some extra grid lines with this. So we can like just chop out sections like so. Um, and then we probably need one more. And for this one, I think we need to do, oh, thanks 4K. I appreciate the super chat, mate. You're a legend, a legend among men and women. All right, there we go. So now we've got like these definite grouped patterns. The question is, does it look good? Does it matter? Do we have time to worry about whether or not it looks good? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. All right, let's get uh, let's get some more things happening in this. Um, we need some like panels. We've got a huge, crazy panel generator. So let's uh, let's see. Think, 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 think. We'll use this system. Uh, I will uh, sh copy this um, and I'll bring this over here. I'll uh, pa paste it uh, there. Delete that. Um, and then we're going to grab a bump node. Bump. Ba, 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 ba. All right. This is going to go into the height. I'm going to take this into the normal. And now the idea with this is uh, that I can change these values. So I can like drag this guy out. I can change my um, height and width to be something a little more reasonable. Uh, 
just to create something. Um, this isn't going to quite look good. Actually, I think what would look better would be uh, if I go Veroni and we go Manhattan. Oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, Shift D, pull that up there, 45. Um, bring this uh, randomness. Sorry, we'll keep the randomness. I'll take this uh, and I'll put the distance into the factor. And then I'll bring my scale like way up on this guy. There we go. Uh, and maybe expand my my scale like this. Bring this thing down, scale it down like so. And then I can take this, bring the strength down just to get something going that's a bit more, you know, panel-y. Um, and I'll take this system that copy it we're going to come over to this material paste it uh i'll grab a normal that actually could be no it didn't it copied the wrong one of course it copied the wrong one i'm in a, i'm in a rush all right let's try this again copy come over to here paste there it is that's the right one normal pop that into the normal there we go um and then that gives us something does it even look good on this? I don't even know, kind of does. Bring it down a bit. This guy up here, the main walls, we need to have a bit more reflection on. So I'm gonna bring my metallic up, bring my specular down and my roughness as well. That's gonna start creating some nice reflections. Um, let's see, we need to get like a, a view that feels like it's at least remotely from the movie. Um, it's not quite that rough, is it? It doesn't reflect all that much. Let's come back to my sun. I'm gonna take my angle back down on this, I think, um, and try rotating around to see if we can get a better. I just like, what if we, hmm. what if we used a point light instead? Turn it up to like a hundred. And then made it blue like the like the beams, right? A thousand, no, five hundred, no, two hundred maybe. Oh man, eight minutes. This is just brutal today. Just brutal. All right, and then like another uh lamp, uh point lamp. Let's grab it on the X, on the Y, bring it out, turn it up to like 100 as well, just so we can kind of see it. All right, that bump looks horrible. Um, let's, let's put it in here like this, right? And let's take this bump and uh, let's, uh, where's my shader? Um, all right, let's stick this back to, um, I think what I want to do, is uh i just don't think it's going to work for us unless i really smash that scale and then bring that strength down and then let's take the second point light um i'm going to give it a little bit of a green i think and just kind of stick it off somewhere find a good angle for it maybe down it just looks like it's got like chicken pox or something it's no good bro no good. I mean, I keep moving my camera. I gotta stop doing that. All right, let's grab this. Actually, yes, maybe that could work. Uh, I might turn my sun off because it's not actually doing anything for us. Um, all right, let's see. Where's our other um, objects that are up there in the sky? I'm gonna turn off my lock camera to view. Six minutes, 51. We're, we're getting there. Like something is starting to happen. Um, where did they go? They've, they've literally disappeared. Now they're there. They're down here. Down here. Can't see them. Not enough light. Bring that up. Bring this in. Let's put in another light. Shift D. Grab it on the Y. Back over here, maybe. This one might go for a slight green. Turn off that. Maybe go down to 100 on this. Bring this over, and then where's the other guy? Here he is.
Oh, all right, we should probably like make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see what things are looking like. All right, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's looking it's looking all right, to be honest. Um what we should do is oh, what should we do? Um stop stalling. Think. Think, 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 think. The door. We don't have the door. This would be a good thing to do. We also have any of the little things in there, uh, which would be nice as well. Um, I wonder if we could just quickly like throw in a couple of bits. Um, let's uh, let's get out of render view and let's go into edit mode and let's switch to this, this, and this. Uh, and which which panel do we see? This one. Okay. So let's just like what we'll do is we'll just go to face mode right here, uh, and I'm gonna. What do I want to do? Um, I'll shift S, cursor two selected. Uh, shift. I'm gonna get out of mode. Shift A. I'm gonna go mesh. Uh, sphere. Scale it right down. I'm gonna put a material on this that's got like a slight emission to it. Um, uh, something blue, right? And I'll just grab it here. I'm gonna use turn on snapping uh, to face, and then I can just drag it around on the face. Go into rendered view. Scale it down like that. Shift D, just move it around. Shift D, grab it here. Shift D, why is it not on the face? There we go. Uh, Shift D, grab Z. There we go. Uh, this one, I'll make a new material uh, and I'll just make it red. Um, like that. Um, and let's jump back into the camera. We're just going to kind of Shift D, grab this up. It's uh, here. Give it the blue material, maybe. There you go, it's a little bit of something. Um, and then we could take the same dudes and stick some over here. So let's see, where did they go? Spheres. Um, shift D, grab it over here like that. Shift D. This is called budget Star Wars, guys. This is guys and gals. Sorry, I don't mean to be gender gender specific. Budget Star Wars coming at you live. We got three and a half minutes. All right, uh, it's gonna have to work. All right, um, gosh, I wish I could do something more with these guys. Um, I could just do that because it just looks better. I know it's not like the movie, but it sure does look cool. Um, vibrancy, base color, emission, uh, saturation all the way up. That's a bit better. All right, let's let's get the door in. Um, let's jump out of here. Jump out of here. Oh man, two minutes, forty-eight seconds remaining. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So, uh, yep, we just need to bull this thing, I think. So I'm just gonna take this, shift D, grab it on the Z, uh, turn off snapping mode, scale Z, bring it up, scale Z. So it's kind of door shape-ish. Grab X, uh, we're gonna take this guy. Um, we need to, probably need to subdivide this a little bit more too. So I'm gonna hit all F3, subdivide. This is just for safeties. Let's do a bunch more, uh, let's do 10. Um, and then I need to go over here. Uh, final two minutes. Let's cue the exciting music. Here we go. Uh, all right. So let's go to modifier. I'm going to bool. We could do this. We could do this. We can do this. All right. Boolean. Come on. Uh, object. This object. Uh, and then I can take this object. Where are you? Where are you? Hide. Yep. There we go. All right. Um, then I can just apply it, right? Can I just apply this? And then I can go in edit mode and I can grab these, this loop that we just made. Um, uh, come on, edge, 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 edge. Oh, just, just work, just work, Blender. Come on. There we go. E, grab. Uh, I need my handles. I need my handles. Minute thirty. Bring this in, just like that. That's all we're gonna do. All right. Do we need it on the other side? Um, check my camera. Can I see the other side? No. All right. Back to render view. All right. Uh, we need to have, we need to have those, those little things, little what things. Um, let's, let's jump into here. Uh, oh gosh, come on. Back out, back out, back out. All right, let's come right here. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see. I'll just, I'll just uh, edit mode. Um, face, face mode. Minute left. Uh, shift S. Cursor just selected. Out of edit mode. Uh, I'm gonna create a plane. I'm gonna rotate it on the X 90 degrees. I'm gonna scale it uh, down like this, uh, like this. Grab it on the. Uh, just, uh, come on, handles. Just pull it out. No, no. 
That way, that way. Uh, grab it on the Y just a little bit, scale it on the Z. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to give this thing a new material. We're going to use in the mission. Uh, there it is. Um, give it strength of three. Uh, I'll go like that. I'll go like that. Uh, I'll do an array. Uh, array, 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 array. Boom. Uh, I'm going to go zero. I'm going to go one. Uh, fixed count. No. Uh, fixed length is what I want to do. And uh, length. Uh, zip. Oh, it's, no, forget it. Shift D. Grab Z. Shift D. Grab Z. Shift D, 20 seconds. Grab dead. Da, da, da. Shift D, grab Z. Bring them down. There we go. Jump into the camera view. Double tap A. Oh man, they're so big. They look really gross. Can I can I save this? Eight seconds. Uh, individual origin scale Z. Double tap A, one second. Hands off. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Man, holy cow! Well, there you go, sci-fi blitz fans. It's how you do the Death Star trench room in one hour. It's also how you give yourself an aneurysm. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if I enjoyed that. Uh, I need to go for a walk. <sighs> Uh, season finale, Sci-Fi Blitz, coming to you live from CG Cookies YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for joining. Oh man, one for the record books. Oh man, I hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm gonna put this scene up on CG Cookies website. You can become a free member. You can download it and play with it, uh, and post it up, share it with us. Oh, wow. Sorry, 4K. I knew you actually believed me the whole time. Just trying to create create drama. Thanks everybody so much for watching today. Yeah, rendered. It's Eevee. It's it's rendered, right? It's done. Uh, if I was to really finish this set, I would I would go in. I would go into Compositor, add it in a little bit of like, you know, lens distortion, a bit of grain, make it look like the movie. But I mean, there's a lot more I would do to make this look good. I was trying to actually deliver it as a scene, but hey, for what we did in the time we had, like even these little panel, the bump actually ends up working on these walls a little bit for us. That's kind of cool. That saved it some, I think, but uh, the lighting as well helped it be really dramatic. I think that worked well, but man, thanks so much for uh, joining me today. For every time you've joined me, for all the Sci-Fi Blitz episodes, it's been a really fun first season, and uh, I can't thank everybody enough. Probably still have our epic music playing, don't we? I mean, we don't need that anymore. Oh, awesome work, everybody. Man. Well, times, I mean, I can render this if you want. It's going to look the same. I'll, I'll render this up and I'll post it up on the community page uh, so that we've got the final one up there for everybody to judge. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like the video. Leave us a comment. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, let us know that if you enjoy Sci-Fi Blitz so that we've got some good feedback that we can take into the war room when we decide what we're going to do next uh, for the next season, for next year, if we're going to continue the show or not. So if you'd like to see more Sci-Fi Blitz, let us know. Smash that like button. And uh, yep, uh, thanks again for watching. Oh yeah, we never saved. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a great note to end on. I'll catch everybody later. Have a fantastic week. I will see you in the next tutorial. All the best. Bye.